Hello, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, WebP versus JPEG. So WebP is just another image format, I think it was made by Google, and it's just a way of having um, quite a lot more compression to be honest with you. And JPEG is great because it does a, a great job of compressing things. Um, you really can reduce JPEG down from 100% quality down to you know quite a lot less, 70%, 60%, even more in some cases, without there being a massively noticeable difference. Um, so if you do that to start off with, and then you convert it to WebP, you're, you're looking at a considerable saving. So let me show you um, just some examples. So um, if I show you, uh, this is like a, a hero image. So this one in particular is 920 pixels wide, so it's for like a super wide screen or something. Um, well, not that super wide really in today's world. And uh, the WebP version, can we see that? Uh, WebP is here. So does it show us the preview? No, it doesn't. I have to look at it in Firefox. Um, so you can see that. So if we put the two together, uh, it looks different with a black background, but realistically, in terms of the picture, it's not a whole lot of difference, really. Um, but in terms of the image size, if you look at the, uh, the JPEG, we're looking at 638 kilobytes. So not massive, but still reasonably large for just one picture on a page. And for the WebP, we're looking at 163. So typically, I've been seeing about half the size, 386 versus 163. So I mean, all the way through here, we can see it. So uh, the 1200, which is 193, versus 85.6. So when you look at your Google page speed scores, it's going to make a massive difference. Your page loading time is a massive difference. Um, the only downfall you're going to see is that um, WebP isn't supported everywhere. In fact, I think it may be Apple that doesn't support it at the moment, so that's a bit of a problem. Um, but you can use it in other places. So generally what you would see me doing when I'm using this is using the picture element, and then um, you can use the type um, type part of the picture element. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Um, you can use type, and you can say it's WebP, and uh, you can also do the same image again as a JPEG, and then it will basically say... If we can't accept WebP, if we don't support it, we'll use the JPEG instead. As long as you put it in the right source order, that will happen. So I've been using it with literally no downside to using it, but um, quite a lot of upside. And uh, just to show you, um, I'm using Photoshop CS5. If I do export, I don't have WebP there. It's before WebP was invented. So what I've been doing is I've just been finding a uh, free JPEG to WebP converter converter probably better uh, and then you know you'll just find something like this which will be um, easy now, this is the one I've used a few times you can drop multiple files there it's pretty easy I'm not advertising this site but I'm just saying to you there's plenty out there and there's um, absolutely uh, well worth saving that that half especially for your page speed scores and uh, your actual experience of your visitors um, as we know page load times will um, cause problems, they'll, they'll definitely cause uh, conversions to go down. If you get faster page load times, they'll go up. Less people leave the site, more people will browse the site, different pages, etc. So well worth doing it in my opinion, uh, and I'd highly recommend you start experimenting and learning how to use these new image formats. There's JPEG 2000 as well. Uh, there has been some people saying that WebP isn't quite the same quality. Uh, honestly, I can't see a massive difference, and Sometimes it doesn't have to be perfect, sometimes it just has to be good enough. And if I can't really notice the difference, then I think that's probably going to be okay most of the time for me. Uh, so I hope you like this, uh, this explainer of what WebP is, how to convert your JPEGs over to it, and why you should be doing so. Um, I'll do another tutorial for the picture element so you can show uh, how to do that. But in the meanwhile, please subscribe and follow us on all of our social channels. We'll be posting more videos and uh, other content from other people as well. Thanks for listening.